and warm you up every time you do a rehearsal. Every time you do a new dance or a new piece that you have to work on, every time you meet together, it would be very nice to start anything with a warm up. Yeah? Uh, your body is like an instrument, right? So, the instrument must be warmed up first before you can use it. Because the body is, especially if the room is air conditioned, it starts to, to come straight instead of stretch. So the first thing you have to do is to stretch and to make the body uh, bendable. Okay. But the, the most important instruments of your body for dancing are Huh? Arms. Arms? Think. What would be the most important part of the body for that? Arms is also very important. But the feet. Only the feet. Holding it there by two and stretching by three and four. That's 
do that again. One, two, three, and four again. One, two, three, and four. Third time. One, two, three, and four. And one, two, three, and four. So, my kids at my school, where I live, I always tell them to do when the kids are five years old. That's when they are allowed to come to my school. And I was telling them, four times, you always do everything four times. Yeah? So it's a good principle to just start doing everything four times. Okay, when you have started, uh, when we have done bending, the next work of the feet is to go up on half point. Yeah, but stretching the knees. Do not bend the knees. So you just stretch and come up. Okay? Pulling yourself up like as you would be hanging on a string or a, or a, or a rope. Okay, let's go. And one, two, down, two, four. And one, two, down, two, four. One, two, down, two, four. One, two, down, two, four. We, we keep the, the arms hanging. Right? We keep the arms hanging. Okay. So, have you heard of the word ballet? Yeah? Do you have any idea what that is? Ballet? It's a kind of dance, isn't it? But what kind of dance is that? Ballet. <laughs> That kind of dance is called ballet. Okay, because there are different kinds of because there are different kinds of dance. One of them is called ballet, and ballet is a complete system. A ballet dancer learns for ten years to become a professional. But you don't have to be like that. You can also become very very good by just doing basic exercises taken from the ballet system. And these two movements that we just did is the beginning of what you call ballet training, okay? The ballet uh, system is taught with a particular language, and it is French. So when you start doing ballet, you have to learn the movements through these French words. So the first one you did by bending your knees is called plié. Plié. Okay? Plié meaning bend. Plié. Okay. When you went up on half point, it's called rising in, 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 in uh, ballet. And they say se lever. Yeah. Se lever. That means to, to wake up, to stand up, to, to, to rise. So the breathe, yeah, and the first one is plié, okay? Now plié are two kinds. The one that you just did is called demi plié, it's a half bend, okay? And when you extend it lower to the ground and really make it big, it's called grand plié, it's big, grand is always big. So you have demi plié, which is the half one you did, and the grand plié. The grand plié allows you to lift the heel from the ground. Pero, I know the Philippines are very bendable, so you can also go broadly a bit of doing that. Yeah? Try, try to go as slow as possible with your bend. Come on. Everyone? As slow as possible. What is allowed by your Achilles tendon to stretch? Come on, come on guys, come on, try. And I will, I will see what is available. What is possible with your legs? Come on, is that the lowest? Okay, without, without lifting the, the hip. Look at her. That's what I mean. Yeah? We can bend as low as that. That is complié. Okay, you can say in English, grand <coughs> plié. Grand yeah. means big. So in French, it's a form. It's grand. Okay? Or you can all just develop an English system and say small plié or half plié and Full PA, you can say that always. Okay. So, in the sixth position, you can do this, and in all other positions of Bali, to allow your whole leg to completely train 
for good movement. Okay, so after bending the knees, you start to strengthen the leg, the whole leg, to its pointed and stretched possibility. Let's do everything to the front first today. Yeah? You stretch the whole leg to the point. Right, yeah, that's it. But the principle says you are not allowed to lift like this. You are supposed to brush it on the floor until it's no longer possible to keep it on the floor. So it's going on a full stretch. Let me do it. And one, two. Now we do 